yeah. than I am. And I don't care about this shit.
silence my phone. This meeting of the Barry County Board of Commissioners is called to order. Will Commissioner, staff, and guests please rise for invocation, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For the purposes of attendance, the clerk will call the roll. Campo. Here. Connor. Here. Geiger. Here. Kenny. Here. Gibson. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Approval of written agenda. At this time, any member of the public wishing to remove an item from the consent agenda and place, an place it under the items of consideration can do so. Hearing no such request, does any commissioner wish to <coughs> change the agenda additionally? <coughs> Hearing no such request and without objection, the agenda is approved as written. <coughs> Reports from state and county officers. Does any state or county officer or their representative have a report to share with the board? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, November stats of 2022. The correction staff has booked and processed 89 persons into the jail for the month of October and additionally released 79 persons back into the community. The daily average inmate population was 53 persons. Uh, staff has transported 39 inmates to and from various locations to include court, medical facilities, and other counties. In addition, have administered. So there's a dial on me? Okay, no, okay. <clears throat> In addition, have administered 41 weekend drug screens to probationers and have fingerprinted 99 persons at the front counter. Kitchen staff has prepared 4,980 meals for our inmate population at the cost of $2.66 per meal. Uh, like going back five years, I just kind of do a little comparison. And bookings in 2022 was 89, 2017 was 276. Uh, releases was 78, 2017 was 204. The daily average population, 53, compared to 91 in 2017. Transports, 39 in 2022 and 2017 were 80. Public prints were 99 and 2017 were 71. Drug screens were 41 and 2017, 136. Meals served to inmates, 4,980. And in 2017, is 8,119 at $1.42 per meal. Uh, HVAC repairs this month were $7,450. Any questions on those? Any questions for Sheriff Lee? Thank you, Sheriff. Oh, cool. All right. Barry County Law Enforcement logged 762 complaints in the month of November. 17 individuals were arrested. There were 180, 180 accidents handled, 121 of those involved deer. <clears throat> we didn't have any alcohol or drug related accidents. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. 364 criminal histories were run for warrant entry and or uh, warrant request. 66 sex offenders were uh, processed and 242 pistol licenses were processed. Incidents handled 2022, 811. 2017, 769. <clears throat> Accidents, 180 in 2022. 2017, 121. Car deer, 121. 2017 was 82. Uh, arrest 17 in 2017, 78. Alcohol and drug related arrest three in 2017, there were 16. Yeah, John. You don't process any pistol licenses except for anybody, 
Except for Berry County, right? Correct. Do you have any idea how many pistol licenses there is in Berry County? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't even come out with a good swag on that one. <laughs> any other questions? Any other questions? Thank you, Sheriff. All right, thank you. Drink Commissioner Dahl. Jim Dalberry County Drain Commission. Uh, follow up from last week's agenda request. We told you we'd try to have our surveys around for the Pine Lake issue. Um, let me go through them real quick. Uh, you'll find the questionnaire uh, that we sent out and our le uh, letter to the people and where you could find all four gauges. The, this page here, Chad has gotten through the first 140, um, and you can, as you can see, people are somewhere between 892 and 893 that they kind of like that level. Some fun facts that I got through the all 230 that we've had delivered to our office, and of those, 62 said, 62 of them said 893.5 or higher. Many of these people said they don't want to drink uh, a lake levels project done, but they did tell us where they want the lake, which without a project, there's not much you can do. So 62 said 893.5 or higher, and in 2020, it was 894.4. So makes sense. Uh, that's what Mr. Uh, Bob Handley referenced. 44 said 890.5 was a good level. 26 said 890.5 890, 890 was not a good level, but they didn't tell us what else they wanted. 124, which is 53.97, said somewhere between 891 and 893. So that gives you an idea that we're probably on the right track to at least attempt to do something. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Jim? Thank you, Jim. Limited public, or do we have any other state or county officers? As you'll see, we have some new toys that arrived 15 days before I leave office. <laughs> so um, please, um, our clock will be up there. Limited public comment. At this time, any member of the public wishing to address the board may do so for up to three minutes. Oops, I pulled. Good morning. Before I say anything I, else, I want to say thank you so much for praying before the meeting. That really means a lot to me and I'm sure most people. My name is Pamela Weston. I live on Pine Lake in Berry County Township. I've lived in that area or on the lake for over 30 years. <coughs> The people seated over there by me share my message to you. And that is, there has been a very large number of residences that have been harmed and incurred tremendous expenses resulting from the historical high water and flooding. Hundred year old trees have been destroyed and erosion continues. There isn't a solution to this and I know Joel was just up here and that will preserve the public and the private property. We need a drain. We need it untabled, brought forward again. Majority people on the lake want a drain. Uh, it's, it's usually the people that are anti, that as you know, are most vocal. And Jim Dahl has developed a plan for the system and there is no reason why we shouldn't go forward because the water levels continue to historically, historically rise. And um, I hope that you will bring it back, we'll discuss it, and go forward with it. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your comments. Is there further public comment? Hello. Actually, yeah, thank you for your prayer. That, uh, uh, 
that touched me. And uh, the Pledge of Allegiance as well, our men and women that serve in blue. Uh, I too live on Pine Lake, uh, like Pam. My wife and I have been at Pine Lake for over 30 years. Um, and then just in the recent years, it has risen. It's caused damage to our yard, our property, both on the lake side, both on, uh, on the road side. It even got to the point of the road flooded out and then it iced up during the winter time and got to a point that we couldn't even use the road. And it's a private road. We have a, a dozen residents that live on the road on the lake and uh, became a serious concern. Uh, you look at emergency services, no way that they can get down the road. Um, and not only it's caused a financial burden, uh, we've had to, uh, each uh, over the years, uh, have had to repair the, uh, our property. We've had pumps, three and four pumps at one time, pumping water, uh, and then as well as water getting into our home. So um, the lake level, uh, as Mr. Dahl mentioned, uh, you know, somewhere in the 891 to 893 uh, is, is, a, is a good level, and somehow we need to control it. So uh, I wanted to share that with you. Thank you. Can I get your name, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Dick Dahlke, D as in David, A-L-K-E. Thank you. You bet. Is there further public comment? John Walters, I'm a resident of Pine Lake, 30 year person also. And what I'd like to know more about, and I believe I do know some about it, is a fill pump. Um, Mr. Dahl, perhaps you're aware of that or know more de details. But the understanding is, is that there is a pump where we can raise the level if we wish. Now, I get the fact that if we have a drain, there were concerns about uh, a, a drought year, two drought, year, drought years, three, uh, uh, having a large impact on the water level going down and down. But if we have the ability to raise it, then um, the way I see it is, if we have a drain and have the ability to fill, we can carefully monitor the level that we want to be at. And uh, I mean, I'm in, in favor of the 892 area, but uh, I think the important issue is, or one of the important issues is the, the fill pump. Thank you. <coughs> the further public comment. My name is Chuck Stack. Uh, I live out in Long Point on Pine Lake. I've been there for 33 years. Uh, so I've seen the water levels up and down. Uh, at only one point in time, like in 2000, we had kind of low water, but even then, I could get through the channels with my boats. Uh, it might have been a little constricted, but you still could get through. Since that drought year, uh, it's been nothing but continually rising and rising and rising. I have all different kinds of aluminum steps to prove it that I had to buy. Uh, I don't, none of us that have had problems, I had to sandbag my place, uh, but none of us want to affect people that badly that are in the coves and other areas, but we do want to control the lake. Uh, we do have that pump. It was put in and then really then never used. And I don't know if it will fill the lake, but the statistics I've heard is it would manage to uh, control the evaporation you get during the summertime. And if you could, if you could <coughs> combat that, you're gonna make progress. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to have a, a lake that you can't control. I hear the argument that, well, we're messing with Mother Nature, but I think that ship sailed probably about 125 years ago, you know, with all the development, Doster Road. Uh, I, as you, Pam said, the, we're losing trees, there's dead trees all the way around that lake uh, because the high waters killed them. And something just needs to be done. So 
if you guys have tabled the project or whatever, I would ask you to un undo it, untable it, and at least let the drain commissioner do his job. That's what he's appointed for or elected for, and I think that's what he should be allowed to do. Thank you very much. Thank you. To further public comment. want to answer Commissioner Smelker's question 247 for the month of November and still counting they're supposed to technically turn them in within 10 days after the purchase but they still trickle in for the purchase of gun sales <coughs> thank you to further public comment good morning good morning for those of you who don't know me my name is Sharon Zabrowski from Carlton Township. Now, we read in the paper about the bonuses that you've given to our county employees and that they will get some of this before Christmas, which is a really good thing. But what we haven't read about is what's being done for our elected officials. Why is that? It seems like whenever something like this happens, they get left out. There's always some excuse or some reason why they can't or shouldn't be included. They're the ones that keep this county running, and yet they are treated like they don't count or even exist. They should be at the top of the list to be recognized for their work and for keeping the county running, especially during a pandemic. Where would the county be if they had not been as loyal and efficient as they were. County employees are recognized for their years of service to the county, but not elected officials who also work for the county. When was the last time you stopped by their office, not because you needed something, but to say, thank you for the job you do, or just, hi so they know they're appreciated. Our elected officials are loyal, hard-working people who deserve to be recognized in every way possible. Thank you. Thank you. Just a further public comment. Good morning, Commissioners. Brian Harrison with Advisor Care. I want to just thank you guys for taking the time last week at the Committee of the Whole and over the last several months to get to know more about um, the work we do as an organization and the families we serve and, and right now, again, families that are losing out on care that they've purchased as a part of their auto insurance policy. Um, I, too, want to echo the statements of, of the, the past public comment. I really appreciate the work you all do as elected officials, and before I started advocating <laughs> for the work that we do, I didn't know what went into, again, being an elected official. And so um, having been to over 100 county board meetings across the state, you know, we've seen um, all types of uh, conflict <laughs> and work towards resolution. And so, again, thank you for, again, being here and being um, the, way, the way that things keep, keep ticking. So... Um, to, I think, Commissioner Smelker's point last week at the Committee of the Whole, I would hope and encourage each of you to reach out to your elected officials on our issue to continue to seek um, a resolution or a, a, a change and a fix to the auto insurance law that does not take us all the way back to where things were before, but certainly allows some um, more appropriate fee caps, as we discussed last week, again, maybe using the work comp language or something similar. Um, Again, thank you. Really appreciate the time getting to know you all, and, and I hope each of you have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Is there further public comment? Hearing none, we'll move ahead. Barry's correspondence. Does any commissioner have any correspondence to share with the board? Consent items. Commissioner Connor. Thank you. I would move for the approval of November 22nd 2022 Board of Commissioner meeting minutes, approval of December 6, 2022 Committee of the Whole meeting minutes, approval of the 2022 revised apportionment report for Barry County, 
approval to enter into the 2023 grant agreement with the state of Michigan, Lara, for the continuation of the remonumentation program in Barry County and to authorize the grant administrator to sign the grant application and agreement on behalf of Barry County. Approval of the 2023 agreement between Barry County and Michigan State University for access to MSU extension programming. Approval to release $19,772 from the Norris Road Forest Property Fund to partially fund a position for 4-H program coordination of educational programs, extension natural resources, sustainability, outdoor education. Support, Gibson. Motion by Connor, supported by Gibson to approve the items listed under the consent agenda. Discussion is not allowed and a roll call vote is required. All those in favor will vote aye. Those opposed will vote nay. Kirk call the roll. Campbell. Aye. Connor. Aye. Getty. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Smoker. Aye. Baker. Aye. The consent agenda is approved. Employee service awards. <laughs> It's kind of cool having it up there. Good job, Dave. Adds more shine to my head, I guess. So um, it's that time of year again where uh, we recognize uh, um, our employees that are celebrating significant anniversaries. And we have about 275 employees here in the, the county government family, and we're going to be recognizing five of them here today. So do we have... Let's start with Heidi. Heidi, are you here? Heidi Sewell is a corrections officer with the Barry County Sheriff's Office, and she is celebrating her 10th anniversary here with Barry County. Now, um, it is a grueling job uh, working in the Barry County Jail. And we complain about the Barry County Jail a lot because of the facility. We don't have to work in it 365 days a year um, on 12-hour shifts. So it is a difficult job, and we are so grateful for people like Heidi that have dedicated their career to helping us. So on behalf of the um, people of Barry County, Heidi, thank you for your service. Yeah. Kirsch. Now about a, um, half a mile away from the sheriff's office is another place, uh, the Barry County Animal Shelter, which is one of um, this county's um, greatest success stories. When I was first on the board, the animal shelter was a contentious, very contentious issue. Um, but uh, this board of commissioners trusted uh, the people that we wanted a fresh start and we wanted a a separate animal shelter, and we could not have asked for better leadership through Ken Kirsch, who has um, not only distinguished himself here in Barry County, but has a career um, in teaching people to love animals and to train animals across the nation. So Ken is celebrating his fifth anniversary as our animal shelter director, and we are Sit. so happy that you have been Appreciate serving it. with us. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Sergeant Weir here. Now, long ago, I spent a 12-hour shift with then Deputy Weir um, and traveled uh, across Barry County and got to know um, what kind of leader he is. And since that time, not only has he been promoted, but you have been um, named, what was it, Officer of the Officer of the Year for the State of Michigan. So let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> are um, committed to um, the livelihood of our citizens um, protecting the law with courtesy and professionalism. So on behalf of the County of Barry, um, Sergeant Ware, congratulations on your 10 years of service. Thank you. Is Kayla here? Kayla's not here. Melinda. Melinda. 
Well, um, these uh, recognitions will be left for um, another board of commissioners. So thank you, everybody, and let's give them all a round of applause. Um, just for the courtesy of our newspaper, I'm sure Jason would like to get a photo. So if there's no objection, we'll take a five minute recess. Hearing none, the board is at recess. <laughs> John, don't get any ideas.
Nope. That's part of the job. You good, Dave? The board will come to order. We have no public hearings. Items for consideration. I move for the approval of prepaid invoices in the amount of three million seven hundred thirty-three thousand five hundred fifty-two dollars and fifty-nine cents. Second. Motion by Jackson, supported by Smelker, for the approval of transfers and disbursements. Approval of prepaid invoices in the amount of three million seven hundred thirty-three thousand five hundred fifty-two dollars and fifty-nine cents. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the clerk call the roll. Aye. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Aye. Smelker? Aye. Cantwell? Aye. Beggar? Aye. The motion carries. Item B, approval of claims in the amount of $109,523.13. Second, Getty. Motion by Jackson, supported by Getty, for approval of claims in the amount of $109,523.13. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Getty? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Aye. Smoker? Aye. Campbell? Aye. Connor? Aye. Beggar? Aye. The motion is approved. Item C, I move for approval of commissioner reimbursement mileage in the amount of $267.72. Support, Campbell. Motion by Jackson, support by Campbell for the approval of commissioner reimbursements mileage in the amount of $267.72. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Gibson? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Smoker? Aye. Campbell? Aye. Connor? Aye. Getty? Aye. Geiger? Aye. The motion carries. I move for approval of item D, adoption of resolution number 22-18, resolution urging state legislature to amend the Michigan Auto Insurance Reform Act to amend the reimbursement cap for auto accident victims and home health care. Second, Connor. Motion by Jackson, supported by Connor, for adoption of resolution 2218, a resolution urging the state legislature to amend the Michigan Auto Insurance Reform Act to amend the reimbursement cap for auto accident victims and home health care. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the clerk call the roll. Jackson. Aye. Smoker. Aye. Campbell. Aye. Aye. Getty? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Geiger? Aye. The resolution is adopted. I move for passage of ops. I move for the adoption of resolution 22 19, resolution to approve settlement agreement, Wayside Church Van versus Van Buren County, ET Western District of Michigan, case number 114 CV 01274. Second, Gibson. Motion by Jackson, supported by Gibson, for adoption of resolution 2219, a resolution to approve settlement agreement, Wayside Church et al. versus Van Buren County et al. Western District of Michigan, case number 114, CV 01274. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Smoker. Aye. Campbell. Aye. Connor. Aye. Getty. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Aye. The resolution is adopted. Item F, I move for adoption of resolution 22-22, a resolution for the approval for the Barry County Parks and Recreation Commission to apply for a Michigan DNR SPARC grant to fund improvements within the Charlton Park Recreation Area. Support, Schmelker. Motion by Jackson, supported by Smelker, for adoption of resolution 2222, a resolution for approval for the Barry County Parks and Recreation Commission to apply for a Michigan DNR SPARC grant to fund improvements within the Charlton Park Recreation Area. Is there discussion? Chair? Yes. I had asked that um, where the breakdown for the funds are on the resolution to put in there that that was from the Charlton Park Fund. Because it just is pretty vague there, Barry County proposed 2023 appropriation. Okay. Do you have a specific amendment you'd like to add to that? I didn't. Um. We will have to do a budget amendment next month 
So I think probably the proper place would, to do that would just make a notation in the budget. Okay, because um, in the description of action here, and even in the local, it just says Charlton Park Fund. Okay. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure and not familiar with their budget, how that should be worded, but we did talk about it last week and... Mm -hmm. and um, the resolution is more for the state of Michigan to show that the county um, is applying for the grant. Okay. So it's more of an internal thing, but your point is well taken. Okay. Is there further discussion? Hearing on the question before the board is adoption of resolution 2222, a resolution for approval of the Barry County Parks and Recreation Commission to apply for a Michigan DNR Spark grant to fund improvements within the Charlton Park Recreation Area. Clerk will call the roll. Campbell. Aye. Connor. Aye. Getty. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Smoker. Aye. Geiger. Aye. The resolution is adopted. The next three items, um, order of service. So, somebody want to make a motion for the next item? Adoption, I would move for item G, adoption of resolution 22-23, resolution honoring County Commissioner Hoot Gibson for his dedication and service. Support. Motion by Jackson, supported by Smelker for adoption of resolution 22-23, a resolution honoring County Commissioner Hoot Gibson for his dedication and service. It has been, for most of my life, and um, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> I haven't even got to finish the sentence yet. <laughs> Most of my life, I've been waiting uh, to celebrate Hoot. No, um, there are county government changes a lot, and government changes a lot. But dedication and service um, from an individual like Hoot um, has never changed. Who Gibson is uh, Barry County's longest serving commissioner. And in this county, in this county's politics, that is a heck of a, um, a medal to wear. You've seen a lot of issues over your years. And one thing that I've learned about you, who is there's no better person that has the real pulse of Barry County than Howard Hoot Gibson. If Hoot Gibson tells me that I'm hearing a lot of people are upset about this, you know he's right. This man has spent his life in Barry County and his life in public service. Um, and don't worry, Hoot, we're all going to say, take turns saying nice things about you too. But first, um, I do want to read this. Res Barry County Board of Commissioners, Resolution 2223, Resolution Honoring County Commissioner. Howard Hoot Gibson for his dedication and service. Whereas it is with great appreciation and gratitude that the Board of Commissioners expresses sincere thanks to Commissioner Howard Hoot Gibson as he concludes his historic tenure as County Commissioner. And whereas Commissioner Gibson has been a lifelong resident of Barry County and a lifelong leader within Hastings, consistently answering the call to service whenever needed as evidenced by his election to the Board of Commissioners in 2004, a tenure that now concludes here in 2022. And whereas since Commissioner Gibson took the oath of office, he has served on the Area Agency, Area Agency on Aging Board, Board of Public Works, the Judicial Council, the Mental Health Board, the Transit Board, Watershed Steering Committee, Airport Commission, Chief Executive Officer Board, Parks and Recreation Commission, Barry County Resource Network, Department of Health and Human Ser Services Board, Hastings Local Development Authority, the Grievance Board, the Community Corrections Board, and whereas Commissioner Gibson's 18 years of service distinguishes him as the longest serving county commissioner in the history of Barry County, a record further distinguished, and that during this long tenure, he has never missed a single meeting of the Board of Commissioners.
resolved the Barry County Board of Commissioners on behalf of the people of this county express its gratitude to Commissioner Howard Hoot Gibson for his historic tenure on this board. May health and happiness be with him for the years to come. Say some nice things about who you have served with him on a lot of different boards. I've served on different committees with him, and as far as I could see, who has always had the best interest of Barry County mm -hmm. in mind. And I got to admit, he's the only one of us I've ever seen show up here in a wheelchair. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. not once has he missed a board of commissioners meeting. Uh, Commissioner Campbell. Well, all I can say about Hoot is when I got on this board, he had his hands full. Mm. <laughs> i very not knowledgeable in the area of politics, uh, but to have someone like Hoot around that's been around the corner more than once or twice, it was always good to have a guy to go to. Mm. And he was always very good about uh, putting up with my inept knowledge and informing me. So thank you, Hoot. Thanks. Dave. No, um, Hoot, we appreciate your years of dedication. And uh, I guess from the beginning in 2015, when I came on the board, you were a deciding vote at that point. And uh, so I'm your fault, basically. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, um, uh, institutional knowledge, the things that you do in the community, the things you participate <laughs> in, I mean, from the moose to the car shows to everything you're involved in, you have been a steward of the community, involved in the community, had the pulse of the community, so um, kind of like E.F. Hutton, when you speak and say there's something going on, we need to listen, and we have. So we hope you won't be a stranger, that we will miss all that institutional knowledge and uh, those nudges saying, hey, you need to pay attention to this. So, mm -hmm. But uh, your time here has been valued. Um, I appreciate your guidance and your leadership in passing some interesting and sometimes difficult things like the ORV ordinance. So, you know, but... Uh, You've done a lot of things to improve Barry County over those 18 years of service, and you will be missed. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vice Chair Connor. Not being a resident of my whole life of Barry County, um, the majority of it, but it's always good with Hoot's knowledge of Hastings, of Barry County, to be able to ask him questions. And he knows what's going on, and he, and he knows how the people feel. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's all those days at Richie's having coffee and mm -hmm. but uh, I've really enjoyed working with you Hoot thank you for some of the history that you shared some of your thoughts and and what you know is going on I appreciate you I'm so proud uh, to have served with you thank you so very much thank you don't forget boy everybody took all the <laughs> Everything I want to say, but um, I really appreciated your mentorship um, as a new commissioner coming in and, and like Commissioner Campbell, um, really the advice coming in as, as a new commissioner and your pulse on the community has been invaluable to me. So thank you. Thank you. And, and I will hope you will stick around and be available for a phone call here and there. Thank you. I'll You're not going to change your phone number, are you? <laughs> <laughs> open it up to anybody here in the audience that <coughs> say some nice things about Hoot. Take you back to that 2004 race. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got to know Hoot back in 2004, and then uh, he invited me to his, uh, what they, was it called pilgrimage? Is that right? Through the moose? Uh, and that's service before he was even commissioner, ladies and gentlemen. So it, it's not something new to him. He's uh, taken on some big roles like that. A lot of people don't know that uh, he's uh, also a weightlifting coach. And his son has, uh, was he national champion weightlifter there for uh, high school? Yes. And a lot of people don't know that about him. And uh, uh, I mean, there's so many things that you just don't know about this man right here that I so much appreciate, but nothing more than your friendship hoop. And congratulations, and uh, I'll, I'll keep in touch with you. All right, thank you. Thank you. 
Anybody else? It's all good. Um, my four years as county commissioner, it was invaluable to have Hoot there to help out. But there's things that Hoot does that most people, like Dara said, we went to a MAC conference uh, six, seven years ago, and Hoot and I, both our wives were there, and he suggested, he says, why don't we just go down and get a burger, you and I, and let the girls tour the whole thing on the horse-drawn thing. That's pretty exceptional. Just something to think about, Hoot. I remembered. <laughs> I remember riding home during that trip. Who didn't... St who did not want to stop for gas? <laughs> um, and uh, I remember um, Mrs. Gibson had was right on board with this. You guys had lunch packed. And I tell you, um, who knows how to drive? And we got home safe and sound. But um, who is a person of vision? And um, when who tells you he's going to be someplace, he will be there. Um, that is one thing I've learned quickly. He definitely has a, will have attended more events and hosted more events like car shows than anybody else will ever meet. But um, they say 70% of success is showing up, so who is extremely successful in that. I also think that uh, Hoot has a lot of support at home. Mm -hmm. She's sitting right over there. <laughs> One other thing here. Barry Township Police Department. What year was that? You were on the force? Yes. Uh, he was a police officer, Barry Township Police Department. That was... Back in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you then? <laughs> kind of glad they took yeah. your gun away. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? I got a those thing. Moving on, I no, would. Wait a who who oh, has some over my shoulder? The 18 years I've been here, <clears throat> I've made a lot of friends, met a lot of people. Uh, during that time, I've worked with uh, 22 different commissioners. I'd like to thank the past and present commissioners for their service and dedication for helping to make Barry County a better place for people to live, work, and play. I would like to welcome the new commissioners and wish them the best. <clears throat> In closing, I'd like to thank Michael Brown for all his help all these years. He was always available when I had any questions or wanted to know anything about uh, issues or anything. He was always available. Barry County is lucky to have Michael Brown. And I will never forget all the people that I've worked with all these years. Thank you. The question before the board is adoption of the resolution. Yes. There being no further discussion, all those in uh, the clerk call the roll. Hi. Gibson? Hi. <laughs> Jackson? Hi. Sunker? Hi. Campbell? Hi. Hi. The resolution is proudly adopted. I was hoping you would vote no. <laughs> I would like to make the motion to adopt resolution 2325, resolution honoring County Commissioner Benjamin Geiger for his dedication and service. Second, Getty. It's been moved and seconded for the adoption of resolution 2325, resolution honoring County Commissioner Benjamin Geiger for his dedication and service. Discussion? Discussion. <laughs> Not sure what's going to happen. So I'm here to present a resolution here honoring your service. Uh, I got to know Ben Geiger through the Republican Party when he was going to Western. I should have brought that picture back from an <laughs> event back in the early 2000s. Um, ben was eager, he was excited, he was energy, he was everything. And um, 
just a, a great guy. Uh, he pitched in uh, a few years later when I was chair for the Berry County Republican Executive Committee. Ben was my vice chair <coughs> and kind of took him under his wing and I hope that I'm not to blame for some of the things, but I encouraged him. <laughs> I, uh, Everybody in this building has uh, contributed some way to my hair loss. <laughs> <laughs> so, but he, he stepped up to the plate uh, after my term and he followed. Uh, he ran for this office and has been here since 2000 and, oh my gosh, 11. So, um, he has come a long way. He has many years to go and many miles more to go, and he will achieve much. I'm, I'm sure of that. So with that, I'd like to read this resolution. Resolution honoring County Commission, Commissioner Benjamin Geiger for his dedication and service. Whereas it is with great appreciation and gratitude that the Board of Commissioner expresses sincere thanks to Commissioner Benjamin Geiger as he concludes 12 years of service on the Board of Commissioners and whereas Commissioner Geiger has been active in Barry County politics having worked in the State House of Representative, Lieutenant Governor's Office, Governor's Office and as the Chair of the Barry County Republican Party and whereas Commissioner Geiger has represented the residents of Barry County with purpose and dedication for 12 years and whereas Commissioner Geiger served as chair of the Board of Commissioners for four years with a constant eye on innovation, and whereas since taking the oath of office, Commissioner Geiger has served on numerous boards and committees, including the Barry Eaton District Board of Health, Commission on Aging, Jordan Lake Board, Judicial Council, Local Emergency Planning Committee, MSU <coughs> District 7 Advisory Council, Southwest Michigan Behavioral Health Board, Barry County Planning and Zoning Commission, Solid Waste Oversight Committee, Barry County Building Authority, Southwest Michigan Substance Abuse Advisory Board, Barry County Broadband Initiative, Brownfield Redevelopment Authority, Joint Area Planning Alliance, South Central Regional Planning Committee, Hastings City Barry County Airport Commission. Now therefore, be it resolved that the <coughs> Barry County Board of Commissioners on behalf of the people of this county express its gratitude to Commissioner Benjamin Geiger for his tireless service, leadership, and dedication and wishes him success and happiness in all of his future endeavors. Sir, you've been here the longest, and you've worked with him the longest. Yes, uh, I've, I've enjoyed working with Ben. It's been been a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and you're going to be missed. I'll, I'll miss uh, seeing you, and I've enjoyed I've enjoyed it. Thank you, Hoot. Ben, I'm not sure if you'll be happy to get rid of me or not, Ben. You and I didn't always agree, but we always talked. We always did. And after her reading that, I might understand now why you didn't call me right back all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it sounds like I've spent most of my life in a subcommittee meeting. Well, you, but I'll miss it, you to, or, Ben. Thank you, John. I've really appreciated you. Um, you've probably helped me more than anyone know um, the nature of of the job and um, the responsibility of being a commissioner. Um, I've enjoyed serving with you on other boards and uh, 
very much appreciate you occasionally answering my phone calls. Um, <laughs> I don't get reception in the classroom, and they're very loud, but I, I enjoy it. But I, I am looking forward to seeing what you do next, and, and I'm confident that you will bring professionalism and your wisdom to, to whatever it is. So good luck. Well, I uh, I think an awful lot about our <clears throat> chairman that's leaving. I think of all the difficult times that we went through in the my first two years as commissioner. Uh, some of the times we we always have agreements and disagreements. That's what we're here for to work things out. But you just got to respect a guy that never lost his professionalism. Always was a a man's man, and he took care of business here. And I'll never forget that, Ben. Never. Awesome. Ben, thank you for the example. Um, coming in, not knowing anything about government, coming from a business background, you kind of took me under your wing, mentored me. I was honored to serve as your vice chair for a while. And um, some of those conversations I appreciate how you were always open to me bouncing ideas off you and vice versa. I hope I was a good sounding board for you too. But uh, kind of following on Bruce's comments, um, the first five years I was a commissioner seemed like a piece of cake compared to some of the last two. But uh, we've had challenges, we've had attacks. I've never seen anybody be under attack as much as you were in the past couple of years. But you stood, you had dignity, you had character, and you had class and uh, you let people have their pound of flesh even when they didn't deserve it. And uh, you protected a lot of us on the board from some of that as well. So, you know, uh, um, you have had one of the most difficult two years I can remember. And I think all of, all of the county and the commission, people that know what's going on when they see your example of leadership and dedication. And um, that'll be remembered by me, especially going forward with how to handle people, how to handle situations with that kind of character and class and stay forward. So you've been uh, impressive with what you've done. You've impressed me with your detail, attention to detail and how you think through things. Um, I certainly don't have all that attention to detail, so, but that's what makes a good team is that uh, we fill in for each other where we're strong and where we're weak. But you've been strong all across the board and when you read those accomplishments and the things you do, I just want you to know, how much I personally appreciate you as a friend and as someone that's always been there, but the leadership example that you've set for all of us. So thank you. So we are probably more alike than you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> we both are our sole support. Uh -huh. We live alone. Mm -hmm. The last four months have been tough on us. Yes, they have. And uh, in in the years that I've worked with you and been involved with you, we've butted heads, mm -hmm. we've talked about it, we've started over, mm -hmm. and we've moved forward, and we've continued supporting each other. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that we made it through this last four months. Um, your strength. I want you to know, folks, that this guy knows Robert's Rules of Order. And he <laughs> is quite the authority on that. And Which is a skill that does not pick you up women. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it just helps you run a meeting. So, but, it, but it also is, it helps in other areas to always be, move forward and be um, supportive and helpful and just wanting to do the right thing. And I think that's where your heart's always been and wanting to serve Barry County. So I just thank you for your service and I know you're gonna do good things when you get out there. Really, really appreciate serving under you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Wait, I'll use, well, let's vote. <laughs> you want to read it? Um, 
Oh, I'm afraid if there's anybody else out there that want to say okay. things that are going to make me cry. Um, anybody else out there? I see lots of friends. This man started as my school liaison officer at Lakewood <laughs> Middle School back in 1998. I remember that well. <laughs> and uh, I tell you what, uh, I don't think there's anybody here more proud of you than me, seeing you go through middle school and now you're the leader of a county handling, uh, what, what, 14, $17 million, million dollar budget. And uh, then, like you said, Dave, the last two years, taking those shots on the chin and uh, Respect you. Yeah, good job. I agree with Dar. You've done a job that I could not have done. Yeah, it's been difficult, <laughs> but it's been worth it. Anybody else? Hearing on the question before the board is adoption of resolution. 2325 resolution honoring County Commissioner Benjamin Geiger for his dedication and service. The clerk call the roll. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Smoker. Aye. Campbell. Aye. Connor. Aye. And Geiger. Aye. The resolution is adopted. I would. Um, the chair moves to for the adoption of resolution 2224, a resolution honoring County Commissioner Vivian Connor for her dedication and service. Or, or so moved. Hey, you're going to second it. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, discussion. So, um, I want to tell you that um, Vivian Connor is a person that cares about the well being of each and every one of you here today. She cares about the people of her district, um, she cares about representation, and there's no other person that I know that thinks as hard and as seriously about what it means to be a citizen public servant. Vivian Connor um, has been everything that a voter would want, that a constituent would, would want. She is there when they call. I've seen her hold the hands of crying people that homes have flooded out and I've seen her um, don um, you know the cold winter gear to go do ribbon cuttings at some lake and deep in Berry County um, she is just a reliable force and we need people like that in government now there have been times where um, yeah, uh, I, I know somebody's going to catch something in the packet sometimes, and that person usually is Vivian, because we can always count on Vivian Connor for finding time to do what she promised the voters that she would do. So I'm going to read this uh, resolution. Resolution honoring County Commissioner Vivian Connor for her dedication and service. Whereas it is with great appreciation and gratitude that the Board of Commissioners expresses sincere thanks to Commissioner Vivian Connor as she closes eight years of service on the Board of Commissioners and whereas Commissioner Connor has been active in Barry County for decades and before taking office, Commissioner Connor had a long career of public service with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. And whereas County Commissioner <coughs> Commissioner Connor again answered the call to serve the public by seeking the office of county commissioner to which she was duly elected in 2014. And whereas since taking office, Commissioner Connor has been a faithful public service to the community through her empathy and her commitment to service, qualities that have distinguished her as a steadfast and reliable advocate for the constituents she represents in Southwest Barry County. Whereas Commissioner Connor has further distinguished herself on the Board of Commissioners, serving six years as Vice Chair of this Board of Commissioners. And whereas during her eight years of service, Commissioner Connor has also served on the Airport Commission, the Area Agency on Aging Board, the Board of Public Works, the Conservation District, Gun Lake Improvement Board, the Planning and Zoning Commission, the Solid Waste Oversight Committee, Commission on Aging, Department of Health and Human Services Board, Local Emergency Planning Committee, and the Parks and Recreation Commission. Now therefore be it resolved that the 
Barry County Board of Commissioners, on behalf of the people of this county, express, express its gratitude to Commissioner Vivian Connor for her dedicated service and wishes her continued enjoyment and success during hunting season. <laughs> Okay. I guess the thing that uh, Vivian makes me realize most is that the important part of being a commissioner is not the end of the meeting every day. She comes and makes me remember that it's the small things, the details. God, sometimes it drives you nuts. <laughs> but she is spot on. We all... We all should pay as much attention to what's going through this room as Vivian Connors has. And to sum it up with the other three, we are going to miss these three. I am going to miss these three. It meant so much. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. We appreciate your service, Vivian. It's hard to say goodbye to friends that we've worked with hand in hand. Sometimes tooth and nail, sometimes not agreeing, but always knowing that we're working for the better good of the county. Um, as Ben mentioned, you're one of the people that we can always count on that was prepared. Always. That was in your packet, that had all the details figured out, that if there was something that was a point of question, that you were there for it. So your preparedness and your insight with that information was always impressive to me. Um, your involvement. Um, from the Barry County Republicans to your constituents. That's one thing that I've seen you do multiple times is your um, passion for the people you represent, especially with like the Bay Point Woods and some other things that went on there that were not happy moments in your life, but I saw your uh, passion for the people that you represent, that you listen to everybody, every side of them, all the time that you were connected and you were involved. And uh, I hope that you will stay involved and connected to those people in some way, somehow, because if we miss you, I know they're going to miss you. So thank you for your dedication and your years and your focus <coughs> on those people. And uh, hopefully we'll continue to be friends and run into each other and see you again soon. Oh, so. yeah. I've enjoyed working with you, Vivian. You've always been real thorough on checking out items that we were going to vote on, and I really appreciate all you've did. I will miss you, Vivian. We talked on the phone a lot over stuff. Oh, you guys have the worst cell phone reception. I'm just going to say this. <laughs> she and him, <clears throat> the worst cell phone reception areas in the county. But uh, there's times we disagreed, but we were all able to come together. And uh, I know there was times I would say to you, why did you vote like that? <laughs> you would explain it to me, and you would have good reasons. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you for that. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Jeff. Vivian, we've, we've known each other a long time. She's seen my kids grow up, and um, I knew her back in the DNR days, and her passion for the DNR um, she brought to the county. Um, I appreciated you um, sort of taking me under your wing at the MAT conference, showing me the way, and... Um, again, we didn't, we didn't always see eye to eye, but I always considered Vivian a friend um, and a mentor, and I appreciated our ability to, to be able to talk through those, those things and then still respect each other at the end of the day. So thank you. Thank you. Vivian's made us all better. She has. I remember it was 2009. Um, I got a phone call. I was um, in class at Western Michigan and I stepped out to take the call and it was Vivian and um, she said I've seen how hard you work in, um, in the party would you be interested in being chair so part of the 
path that I've been down is because of you. You've made us all better, Vivian, by challenging us to believe in better, to represent our constituents better. They um, were cynical about politics these days, about leaders that don't care that you'll send an email to and they won't respond. This commissioner agonizes uh, over, I, w I shouldn't say agonizes, she dedicates herself to listening to the heart of all those people that reach out to her. Even if the issue is difficult or the message is critical, this woman cares, this woman listens, and we are better for it. Made me a better person, Vivian, made, us, made this county a better place. Out there. <coughs> What's the BPW going to be without? <laughs> <laughs> As drain commissioner, I've worked a lot with Vivian on water projects. <laughs> Where's our muck boots? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> She's been down to Pine Lake with me and drowning it. Tim Wallace's, I mean, mm. where the water was above her boots, <laughs> mm. we found out. She's been on site down to Crooked Lake numerous times, Sharon Ritchie's and all different properties down there with me. She's been very, very dedicated to what the people need done. Mm -hmm. Glib, and I'll tell it, say this from Doug Comrade and all the other members of that board, are very, very, very disappointed that she's not going to be leading us. She took over as chairman there, made a phenomenal change to that board. Um, it's run like boards are supposed to be, like lake boards that are not fun. She's done a phenomenal job. Thank you, Vivian. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Not gonna make you cry. Okay. <laughs> uh, I appreciate uh, the phone calls, just like everybody else, because it wasn't just you, Commissioner. She called, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm responsible for some of the emails you got. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but reality, uh, on out of here and in here, she's been uh, phenomenal. Uh, she's been out at my range before, and I'm telling you, if she ever goes AWOL. Uh, <laughs> she can shoot, okay. <laughs> uh, I was really, really shocked. She, uh, she came on over to sight in her rifle that her dad built, and uh, oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. And uh, but anyways, I enjoyed the time in here and out of here, and uh, good luck. And I know we'll keep in touch. So. Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> By the way, we're both Lakewood High School graduates and Pam, so. Vikings are losing some representation here. Pam and I together. Oh, the same year. Right. Same year. <laughs> well, uh, Vivian, um, you've been a force for good. Do you have any? Yes, please. I want to thank all of the commissioners. I've learned something from each and every one of you. Because um, life is an education and it doesn't stop until it's over. So um, strengths, weaknesses, just everything. Um, I appreciate everything. It was kind of hard sometimes. I felt very alone in some of the votes, but I still felt that from information that I got from constituents or in studying, I, I still felt that that was the way to vote. And I appreciate, like John said, why did you vote that way? <laughs> and, and, and when I explained it, you know, that it was, under, he understood what, where I was coming from. Um, I had a lot of things that I had thought about saying, but now my mind is totally blank for some reason. But, but one of the things, if, if you're, Catherine's still in your first year, um, Michael Brown is a great teacher, and he has such a vast history and his door is almost always open to you. I mean, he has a lot of responsibility, and I can't tell you how 
much history he has given me. He's helped me with procedures and protocols. His friendship is mean. I, I barely knew Michael Brown when I came here, but his friendship means a lot to me. And he has helped me when I've gotten an agenda packet and I've called him and I said, or emailed him and said, I've got some questions here. And I know some of them on um, some of those uh, um, accounts that, you know, the numbers, I'm like, why, what, what would this be for? And, and he's just great. He, he absolutely um, has helped me grow so much in knowledge about what, what's going on in the county. Because as much as I thought I was prepared, it was a whole new ball game coming here. Um, you, you sit here your first year going, am I ever going to make an agenda item? You know, am I ever going to have something to, you know, bring before the board? But the biggest thing that for me is this was a job of a servant. That's how I approached it because for your constituents, that's what you are. You're a servant. So, but servants make, um, a lot, I mean, where would we be without without them so any more? <laughs> thank you all to the people my daughter is in the audience and she has supported me um, I want to thank her got my team here in the front row Larry politics Mark <laughs> politics and government Kim he just likes to listen to me talk and ramble and Jim <laughs> Dahl well he's pretty much said it all but a lot of other people have contributed to um, my growth and all the things that I've accomplished, uh, I knew that I had people that were backing me and supporting me. So thank you. And if you're out there watching to all those others, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, these people in the audience, um, I want everybody to know that in, in this time of cynical politics, Vivian Connor treats everyone with dignity and respect, even those who um, are critical of her and that don't have nice things to say. The things that she says um, when the cameras are off, the meetings are um, adjourned, are the same things that she says here. So that's been something that's made us all better. So thank you, thank you Vivian. There's no further discussion. Um, anybody else? Hearing none, the question before the board is adoption of resolution 2224, a resolution honoring County Commissioner Vivian Connor for her dedication and service. The clerk will call the roll. Gibson. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Smoker. Aye. Cantville. Aye. Getty. Aye. Connor. Aye. Geiger. Aye. The resolution is adopted. We have no unfinished business. We have no new business. The county administrator does not have a report. Thank you. I'm going to, we do have one meeting left and I'll have some more remarks and some more thanks next week. Vice chairperson's report. Um, the last week I've attended the Orangeville. I do have one thing to say before. Um, we will have um, some light refreshments after this meeting um, in honor of uh, us three guys. <laughs> it just kind of came out that way. So. <laughs> Us three commissioners. So I'm sorry, Vice Chair Connor. That's <laughs> clear. Mm -hmm. um, Orangeville, and um, I got a nice dough last Thursday, so I wasn't able to attend the Solid Waste Oversight Committee because I had to get it to a processor. So, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, all I, that's all I have. A lot of my committees have shut down for the year. Great. Thank you. Commissioner Getty. Um, I don't have any report, but I want to um, thank all the commissioners and the administration for the support during um, a very difficult time in my family um, over the last couple of weeks. And it, it it is truly a family of support here. So thank you. Commissioner Smeller. Uh, went to Thorn Apple Township last night, and uh, they purchased a new fire truck and a new ambulance so they're moving ahead very well and they are retiring an ambulance that I helped stock when they bought it new back then. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so. 
And that's all I got. Thank you. Agreed. Yeah, um, Solid Waste Oversight Committee. There is some good news coming out of there that um, House Bill 4464, um, they're changing their focus more towards material management and planning. And in theory, there's going to be several grants available up to $60,000 per county that may also assist us in our recycling plan. Um, there are also several other grants coming out. I know there were Rachel said there were 25 awards available per area between $500,000 and $4 million um, per um, area. So there may be an opportunity for us to really move the needle on what's happening with um, recycling and materials management planning going forward. Uh, Rachel continues to do a good job. She presented a 2023 recycling priorities plan of action last week as well. That was very well thought out. And uh, she's been a big help to that committee as far as getting them going in the right direction. So um, other than that, um, Hope Township is this afternoon, Barry Township's tonight, Rutland Township's tomorrow. So all the meetings are kind of in the middle of the month. So thank you. Commissioner Campbell. Thank you. I uh, attended the Syria and Maple Grove Township meetings last week. Tonight I'll visit Baltimore and Wednesday I'll attend Johnstown. Last Saturday I was in Delton providing horse-drawn wagon rides. And as I understand it, there is an excellent judge in the chili cook-off in Delton, uh, one of our commissioners. Is that right, Dave? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's excellent. all I, that's all I have. Exaggeration. <clears throat> Limited public comment this time. Any member of the public wishing to address the board may do so for up to three minutes. I'll just say a little bit in support of the Pine Lake motion um, like 2019 through 2021 I had about six inches of water in my basement at most of the time um, bailed plenty of fish out of my basement uh, you, you put your dock in the water uh, your dock is about three inches over the water you come in two or three weeks later and your dock is underwater so I just can't see a reason why um, you wouldn't want to lower the, the lake for the betterment of everybody. I think the, the lake fill pump is definitely a good idea. People are concerned about the, the coves not being passable. Um, but yeah, just for the betterment of everybody at the lake, I think that the pump project should go through. So I'm really just here to support these guys. And your name? Brian. Thank My you. My name's Melcher. Thank you. Is there further public comment? Hearing none, we've reached the end of our agenda, and without objection, the board will now adjourn. Just a reminder, we will have refreshments after adjournment. Hearing no objection, the board is adjourned.